guess. I just feel completely called up out of myself because I just didn't want or think that I would have to face this kind of reality ever in my life. And like, look, I'm only speaking to one person here, but you need to keep your kids out of your infidelity. Plain and simple, you do not get to 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 to, to drive. Have your fucking 13 year old son drive your dumb ass to try and convert your own crimes that you've been taking up against me. And meanwhile, you had every intention that day to mess up my entire life. Every last little bit of it. My ex friend, how in the world can you even look at yourself in the mirror? You are such a fucking cage ass heartless put yourself in my position you want to call me out for not having stoic value while hacking me in my in my entire life so you can move with absolute intention to steal up on my life in that kind of way you have some nerve to do what you've done to me me living not even two blocks away from you and mind you all of the years that you have known me personally on a personal level and not just oh what did you fucking do with my information you motherfucker because the way you moved tells me you fucking hacked me you've been hacking me with absolution and aim and especially with where you moved into a past relationship of mine you cage ass motherfucker how would you fucking play this if you were me, you fucking heartless piece of shit, smarmy ass motherfucker, for you to even consider doing this to anybody at all? And then this is how you're gonna treat me, allowing me to go through everything that I've gone through to get out of homelessness. Oh, and guess what? You're the motherfucker that put me there. And the reason I say that is because of how fucking down and out I had gotten. Because there's no fucking way, no fucking way, would I have ever have gotten that down and out if it wasn't for what you had done to me in my whole love's life value. You had no place to do what you've done to me, motherfucker. So I don't care how you move. I don't care how she moves. I don't care how any of you move. And that, and the reason I say that is because of this. Both times, they had to bring their kids into it. My long-standing relationship of 28 years, I think, supersedes the length of time that they've been alive. So as far as where my ex-girl is concerned, you are such a dumb, heartless, fucking piece of shit, your damn self. You needed me dead. And you needed to poison me with where you were willing to move for my stupid motherfucking ex-G? Who deserves hell? Who deserves worse than hell on this living earth from now on? Because there's no way there's no way I am going to tolerate a motherfucker coming into my life, hacking me up, taking and stealing my private data or not. I don't even care one way or the other. I don't see there being another fucking way. But he stole my private life in that way. So regardless of this scenario... You have some motherfucking nerve, and you have something to fucking answer for yourself for. You're not gonna escape accountability on what you did with my life. There is no way, no way in hell I'm going to allow you to get away with this, and neither would anybody in this whole entire planet. Nobody. You want to steal my heart's value away from me and use my love, my love, not only for my girl, but for your damn self as a weapon against me to completely murder me. So, you want to kill me? You want to point guns at me? You better 
fucking pull the trigger. Next time you pull a fucking gun on me, I will fucking hop out of this car so fucking quick. So help me God. You better pray that those fucking bullets hit me good enough. You dumb motherfucker with the way you just moved in my life, with the way you've been moving in my life, and with what you've done with my information, G. Anybody else on this fucking planet, you wouldn't be alive. Mark my motherfucking words on that one. You wouldn't even be breathing. Go ahead and try what you did to me, to some other motherfucker, you dumb motherfucker. I have read articles, innumerable articles about this topic, way further than you could ever fucking reach reading on in a little short time to try and convert your own fucking cage ass actions against me. Gee, you're fucked. This law, because the law states, what it actually states is that you do not get to insinuate or tell anybody to go kill themselves and you certainly aren't gonna act like you didn't do that through my own girl poisoning me up gaslighting me for my keys and your dumbass waltzing into my own motherfucking house with absolution and aim you thought you had all the power in the fucking world to fucking push me under the ground under the ground and it's because it's because I've said innumerable times to you that if that were the case, I, I was going to kill myself because you were placating on every fucking last emotion that I had left in my body to move how you were moving with my life and my information in a way that you were, you were just so sure of it that you had my life in the bucket without me having it in me to try and push through this shit. You got another thing to answer to, motherfucker. Because once I get my hands on you, according to the law, I am going to rip your ass into fucking shreds when it comes to the laws that are written in this fucking land. Not to mention, motherfucker, with you actually moving to murder me. Murder me. You have some dumb motherfucking nerve on your fucking body, in your body, to move in that kind of way with anybody's life, let alone someone that takes sincerity to you with their love's value. So no, you are not going to get away with trying to murder me, because what I call that is premeditated murder, and you needed to premeditate murder me. You needed me dead because you couldn't handle me being alive to call you out on your bullshit and to fucking take you down with every absolution and aim to take you down as according to the laws in this fucking land. Stay caged up in your bloody fucking body, you bold ass to be trying to move in my life in that way. Stay caged up. Cage up in everything you do. Cage up in everything that you fucking are. You have no business messing around with a love value at all. I wish, I wish that I could just rip off the shingles of your fucking house, tear into your fucking house, come into your fucking house the same way you did mine, but to drag you the fuck out and say, deal with this, motherfucker. No threats involved, you cage-ass motherfucking bitch. I'm just saying the facts because popos that have had their wives cheating on them just for the moment end up fucking annihilated and this one has been a long time you have done this you are such a fucking motherfucker G and with where you moved in my life before like I didn't have it in me to remember I blacked the shit out I blacked the shit out you know, in a situation like this, people don't, they don't care about the law. And the reason is, is because how fast does the law work? I can tell you right now, the law is going to work pretty fast quick you are under arrest aa and jl you are under arrest highly it's not enough it's not enough 
and AA, you are so fucking stupid. You are so fucking... You're such a fucking idiot! Yeah, and you know you what, what you said? Is that I fucked up your life. I fucked up your life, huh? It wasn't you doing all of this shit for, the, for, for this fucking long. Fucking up my life? But oh no, you didn't think of that, did you? Because you thought, you thought too. You thought too. Oh, he's got it all figured out. And this man, he can, he can do all of this. Oh, what a, what a great fucking person he is. That he can do this to his own friend. And it, it must, it must be that he's just a piece of shit then, right? That he could move into this guy's life this way. Because that's what it's supposed to say, right? Is that I'm such a fucking piece of shit that my own G could even take it upon himself to do this shit, right? That's right. That's exactly right. I'm such a piece of shit that I, I would deserve th for this kind of treatment in my life. Based on how he moved in my life before in the same kind of f***ed up way. Mind you, if this was the first time, because of my love's value, I would probably be blacking this shit out. But I'm not gonna black this shit out at all. No. You motherfuckers deserve to pay for the crimes that you've taken against me, and that's my f truth. Because there's no way in hell I'm gonna let you get... I'm not gonna let you get out of this state. And neither are the police. They're watching every last move that you make. Trust me. Trust me. They are around the fucking corner. Waiting for you to bounce. Waiting for you to fucking pack up and try and run. Try! You're not going to get very far. And the reason is, is because of this. You are already in jail inside of your own fucked up bodies with what you did to me. You're under arrest. God forbid what you've done to me. You do not even deserve the breath inside of your bodies. How you could do this to, to me. How you could do this to me, and especially you, AA, after all of our formidable conversations, our vows, devotions, the things we just talked about. Have you no fucking heart? What so fucking ever? What so fucking ever? So I just go and cry. I go and cry because I have no other fucking option left. I fucking cry because I'm like dying inside because you guys are fucking pieces of shit, yo. How in the fuck? Murder me? Murder me. It's so fucked up. You guys are so fucked up in the head. I wish I could punch you both in the fucking head every day. Every day. For all the hard work warriors out no, here baby. Stepping up Fighting that darkness Wherever it resides Doing that G-code G-work All of the time All of the time They don't get to kill you man Trying to lock up your old life up tight Gangsta rap and a G-code vision Doing that G work and bringing up that vision up into the light My life, my values, the road's rough and I've been through hell Stepping up and I'm spitting the truth and that G's real, that G's real in you And I see the G in me too, yeah Cause life's been tough and rough and putting you through that tough luck And ain't no doubt about that, they needed me down and out But I'm bringing it back That I'm not a rapper by trade, man. Just on a mission through the darkness I wade. G word, G code, 
different True G and me speaking it fast Spitting that truth before I get up and pass I wanted, they wanted me down so fast And wanted me to fold up on myself So here I am standing strong And letting the truth out And letting the truth pull You don't want me to pull out my piece on you My pistol, my pistol Despite your every trigger finger move You staged up in that dark But now we'll signal in that proof Lights of warning signs like a spark Yeah, murder me, nah, you ain't got that right You needed me dead, you wanna be dead For your own fight, your flighty ass bitches That you fucking caged up and said Everything that you've done in a placated way Trying to make me fold up on myself to make me dead Session Day and every night, that's who we are as hard work warriors. Do that G work, G code sessions for the true G and me. The sessions ain't coming, speaking fast and speaking proof. Before I get up and pass, they need to be down and out. So fucking far down and out. Wanted me to fold up on myself, but here I'm standing strong. And I'm letting the truth be bold. And I'm coming to the world to make it come clear. Rising from the bottom to the top. Stages, lighting them stages on fire Just like I've said, getting respect that we deserve throughout the ages You'll know my name is Matt when I'm done with every single track I'm bringing it back, pal, yo, Mally, we're on the track Found yo, Mally, not, you got another thing coming, G It's a hard work warrior, we're keeping on drumming We're keeping that spark, so humming From the darkness to the light, we'll bring up the chains And unity will rise to the joys and all of the pain that we go through That hurt locker to the stage will rise into G work, G code under Pendo those open maybe. skies. These open skies. Peace.